In this episode of The Breakdown, I'm going to show you how I use high speed sync to shoot studio portraits. Adorama TV presents The Breakdown with Miguel Quiles. Welcome back to The Breakdown. My name is Miguel Quiles. And today I am here in the studio with Miss Vanessa Joy. Hello. And let them know, so you've apparently got this show on Adorama TV as well. Let them know uh, a little bit about your show. I do, I'm here on Adorama TV. My show is called Breed Your Passion and we talk about work-life balance. I'm a wedding photographer. We talk about all, all weddings inside and out. Pretty awesome. So make sure after you're done watching this episode, go check her out uh, at Breed Your Passion here on Adorama TV. And so now I have you here in my studio. I'm super excited. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I shoot my uh, portraits in the studio using high speed sync. And it is gonna be really easy. It's just a simple one light setup. And let me go ahead and give you a little bit of an explanation of what you need to look out for when you're shooting these types of portraits. All right, so before we begin, let's talk first about our settings. And all of these shots, I'm gonna be shooting them at f1.8 using the Zeiss Battis lens. So when you're shooting wide open and you're shooting in the studio, one of the things that I didn't realize in the beginning when I first started shooting these types of images that I wanna share with you to hopefully save you some time is you have to make sure that you check your ambient light settings before you turn on your studio flashes. So first things first, you're gonna take a shot I'm gonna try it at f1.8. I'm gonna adjust the shutter speed up and down. We'll figure out what the actual shutter speed's gonna be in a moment at ISO 100. I'm gonna take a shot without the studio strobes being on so that I can evaluate if the ambient light in the room is actually affecting the exposure. If it is, you're gonna end up having to turn off the lights in the room or close blinds or basically just darken the room as much as possible. You wanna make sure that before you turn on your flash, you have a completely dark exposure. Then at that point, you can go ahead and turn on your studio strobes and that is the only light that is gonna be impacting your exposure. You can move it around, make it brighter, darker, whatever the case might be. But first you have to get that baseline exposure that's gonna be that completely dark shot. Now I've already pre-tested it and I already know that I'm gonna end up having to turn off the lights here in this room, but I wanna give you that preamble so that you know this is why I'm turning off the lights in the room. All right, so let me go ahead and break down the lighting setup for you and just the general studio setup of what we're gonna be using. Uh, first things first is our backdrop. I have a collapsible backdrop as you've seen in many of my videos here on Adorama. This one is made by Savage. And um, so this is gonna be our background. And part of the reason why I'm using this textured background is when I'm shooting wide open at F1.8, it's gonna blur it so beautifully in the background. So that's our collapsible backdrop stand. It's just set up on a regular light stand. Um, of course, Vanessa is gonna be modeling and she's gonna be approximately about two feet away from the backdrop. So that's gonna stay pretty much the same throughout the entire shoot. My one light setup is going to be the Fotix Luna collapsible softbox. And I love this softbox for a number of reasons. The biggest reason is that it actually opens up and closes like an umbrella. So it makes it very easy to stow away, easy to travel with. Um, so that's gonna be my light modifier. I'm using the Fotix Indra 500, and that's actually running off of a battery pack. Now for my camera, we're gonna keep things really uh, simple. I'm using the A7R Mark II, and I'm gonna be triggering it using the upcoming Fotix Odin II for Sony. So this is something that I keep an eye out on Adorama. It should be out in the next few weeks, possibly the next month. Uh, we'll get, have an exact date for you very soon. And one of the accessories that I also love to use is this grip, this vertical battery grip for uh, the A7R II. And this is pretty fantastic to be able to one hand hold your uh, portraits. I'm probably not gonna use it today. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But uh, it does add a really nice little grip to the camera. And as I mentioned before, the Zeiss 85 1.8 is what I'm gonna be shooting with today. So outside of that, the only other accessory that I'm really gonna be using for this, I have a small fan that is right off to the side of the camera that I call Beyonce. Actually, here you go. Perfect, thanks Vanessa. So this fan is basically gonna go ahead and jujify her hair and it's gonna make her look all epic and amazing. Um, so Beyonce, right? Hashtag Beyonce for anybody that likes using fans. It's just a regular basic fan. And um, so I have that sitting on a stool right off camera. 
So now that we understand what the setup is, the lighting, the backdrops, let's go ahead and start shooting. So there you have it, a quick look at how I shoot my dramatic portraits here in the studio using high speed sync. And so before we let you go, I want to make sure once again that you check out Miss Vanessa Joy on her show here on Adorama TV, Breathe Your Passion. Also make sure that you subscribe to Adorama TV's YouTube channel, they have tons of awesome videos. And also check out the Adorama Learning Center where you can read tons and tons of different articles on photography, on gear, reviews, all of that good stuff. So Vanessa, thank you so much for being an awesome model. Anytime. And I will see you guys next time right here on The Breakdown.